For two months leading up to my med audition in 2011, I self-recorded like a madman. I zoomed in on every detail, addressed every problem I could find, and moved on to the next. It was kind of an obsession, but it transformed this list of excerpts that I was basically learning from scratch into highly polished little nuggets of music, ready to be scrutinized by a bunch of scary A-list med orchestra musicians. In today's video, I'm going to tell you the story of how I figured out that self-recording is the key to advancing in auditions. This is day 9 of the 12 days of auditions, where each day I cover a different topic on how to take auditions. The story starts a few years back during an audition prep period. During that awkward time in your prep where you've turned in your audition tape, you don't know whether you're going to be invited to the audition yet, but you still have to practice just in case. Well, even before that, I'd recorded myself before. Enough teachers had told me that it was helpful that I tried it from time to time. I'd play something badly, record it, and I'd listen back. And then I'd say to myself, yep, I thought that it was bad, it turns out that it was bad. Then at one point, I had to make a tape for the Buffalo Philharmonic Timpani audition. It was the first audition tape I made that I really took seriously. Under the guidance of my teacher, I set up in a room at Juilliard, and I spent more than a week recording six excerpts. I probably walked back and forth between my instrument and the recorder 10,000 times. And instead of just going for a solid performance, I tried to make each excerpt the best that I could possibly imagine it. So every time I noticed anything, I'd just keep re-recording. I wouldn't stop on any excerpt until I knew that my teacher would okay it, which was really hard to do. After I finished, I started working on the rest of my list, just in case my tape advanced. But what I found was that the work that I did on those six excerpts was so effective, they were miles ahead of the rest of the list. Those six excerpts were money, whereas the rest were just regular. Fast forward to my New World Symphony audition a few years later. I didn't have to record an audition tape, but I decided to try something new. I'd prepare each excerpt as though I was going to record it for an audition tape with all the recording repetitions and everything. That way I could get all my excerpts to the point of being completely polished just like those six were. And finally this was the first audition I did really well in, I got runner up. The moral of the story is this, self recording isn't just for audition tapes, it's for everything. But it works best if you're actually trying to self record them to the level of an audition tape. The full story is on today's blog, so go to auditionhacker.com slash day9 to read that. While you're there, you can enroll in my free online mini course called How to Advance at an Orchestra Audition 101. Tomorrow's all about the ultimate guide to sight reading for auditions in life. See you then.